really wanted uh, to, to design the appearance of this robot to be one that was just, when you saw it, you're going to, wow, that's, that's awesome. So it's a 44 degree freedom robot, very capable, very strong, uh, completely self-contained. We have a two kilowatt hour battery, uh, lots of onboard computing, We've got a seven degree freedom arm, and six degree freedom hand. 3 degree freedom pelvis and we have a 6 degree freedom leg. When we were designing the robot, we we were thinking about the competition from day 1 and we wanted a very modular system. Specifically with the arm, we can yank one bolt and one connector and we can take the arm off. It happens in a matter of minutes. And so we wanted to be able to replace components, major components on the robot in under 15 minutes. The robot is designed also uh, such that the arms are actually identical. So with just reconfiguring uh, a piece on the arm, a right arm can suddenly turn into a left arm. Power is stored in the backpack here. We have a battery. You can pop this panel off. You can do a couple bolts, slide the, uh, slide the battery out, and slide a new battery in. So as you can see in the head, we've got cameras, um, both LiDAR, point cloud based camera systems. Um, in the chest, we've got cameras. Uh, we have sonar. Uh, in, the, in the chest, uh, in the stomach, abdominal area. We have uh, cameras on our, on our uh, forearms for when we're grasping, uh, so we can get a good view from there. Moving on down, we have um, cameras in the knees. We've got cameras in the, uh, in the feet. Uh, pretty much when our, when our operators are, are, running the, are, are running the robot, any data, any piece of data, any image that they would want to see from what the robot's seeing is available to our users. NASA saw considerable overlap in what the DRC was trying to accomplish and NASA's, NASA's goals as an agency. We want to get to Mars. Likely NASA will send robots uh, ahead of the astronauts to the planet. Uh, these, these robots will start preparing, uh, preparing the way for the human explorers. And when the humans arrive, the robots and the humans will work together in conjunction, uh, building uh, HABs, laying foundation, um, and, and just working together in that, in that tight relationship. So technologies such as Valkyrie are going to really lead into the, the type of robotics